Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about the electron cloud. So what's the electron cloud? The concept of the electron cloud is very similar to watching a fan rotating, like this. So at the first time, when the fan begins rotating, we can define the shape of each blade of the fan. But as time goes on, its speed becomes more rapid and we cannot define any of these blades. So the same thing is applied in the electron cloud. We said that the electron cloud is the light, the area where all the orbitals are found and it's probable to find the electron somewhere in this electron cloud. So the electron cloud's image can be obtained through photographing millions of images of a hydrogen atom. So, after all these images are photographed, we can merge them all together so that we can find the electron cloud. Um, this is formed because in one image the electron is found somewhere, in the other image is found in somewhere else, at the third image is found at the third place, and so on. So if we put all these images together, we can finally get um, a, a final image of the electron cloud. So the points of high density, so the points of high density, uh, represent the um, places where it's highly probable to find the electron, because it was found at many times at this certain area, and the places with low density represents the area where this is a low probability of finding the electron there. Of course, all of this is based on the Heisenberg uncertainty principle and Schrodinger's mathematical equation. And uh, for the video of this, just click on this link here. So, this is it for today. And the next time, we will talk about something called the quantum numbers. These quantum numbers define the orbitals where it's highly probable to find the electron. So the electron clouds principle led the scientists to find these quantum numbers. So what are these quantum numbers? That's what we'll know in the next time and until then thank you for watching and see